Hello and welcome to John Dowling in the Real World Channel. I'm your host, John Dowling, and today is your update, the latest update for Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. There's a lot to cover today, so we're going to jump right into it. Uh, I've even got my notes here. Please like, subscribe, and share. It really helps the channel grow and lets others get the knowledge that you've been afforded as well. Uh, to all of our new and loyal, faithful supporters, we thank you very much for your support and your kind words and comments. They are greatly appreciated. For those who don't appreciate our content, that's fine. There are other great patriots out there who might be more to your liking, but please do not leave rude and snarky comments. It's not acceptable or appreciated. We're not here to attack you. Please don't attack us. Now let's get to the news. So today I have a special show with my mentor who brought me into this movement many years ago. I want to get his insights and prophetic words and musings that he can share with you from the horse's mouth. You'll get to enjoy that show later on today. Uh, Speaker Johnson has a critical 24-hour window to avert a government shutdown, which begins active Saturday the 18th if a deal is not met. One of the big sticking points, thankfully, is no pork funding for Ukraine or Israel. And that's one of the things that they're going to be working on. Um, Iraq and Sudani will be stopping the currency auctions as of January 1st this year. What that does is that removes corruption and dollar smuggling. They've been living off the dollar. They haven't been living off their oil and other resources. They'll be now forced to do so. Let's see. Uh, Prime Minister Erdogan of Turkey is set to visit Iraq in January. That's for the purposes of signing the oil and gas law to make that a, a legal formality in the Iraqi Gazette. Uh, President Macron of France is set to visit Sudani this month sometime in Iraq regarding the provisional and general elections. Now, overall, that's a good thing for the U.S. as the countries copy each other. If they go through the elections, most likely we will do the same. Uh, one other thing I want to talk to you about real briefly is this is an epidemic that's going on with corporations throughout the world in regards to the stock market and the general perception of the economy. An example would be Yellow Trucking Company. They've been most known for doing shipping to major companies like Walmart. They're very economical in their distribution channels and in their pricing. Well, this summer they laid off 30,000 truckers and employees, yet they've kept them on the books as employees because they paid them severance packages. When those packages run out, those employees then come off the books. <clears throat> the perception is the company's doing well based on the number of employees they have and the revenue they were generating. But when that, that scale slides off in the coming quarters, it's going to have to reflect. And this is just one of thousands of corporations doing this. Imagine what that's going to do to the landscape of the economy when the real numbers are realized in the marketplace. There's some breaking news coming out of Iraq. Federal Supreme Court House Speaker Mohammed al halabasi from Parliament per Laith al dulamis lawyer. This is important because the government in Parliament has mostly been comprised of corrupt Iranian proxies. So this is one of the big finance ministers in there, one of the big people in Parliament being removed, is showing that they're taking real and proactive steps to removing corruption, which means they're getting very serious about getting back onto the international stage and cleaning up, removing the currency auctions and removing some of the parliament are key steps to making this happen. Also, some other news that is developing is sanctions may be released off of Iran from the Biden administration in order to access 10 billion in funds placed within Iraq. Now you might be thinking, yeah, that could be so they could get at some of that money laundering. That might be their effort, but the good thing is in the efforts to do that on the Biden administration side, what that does is it takes the sanctions off Iran freeze them up, which and then in turn freeze Iraq. So it's another step in the building block process to what we're waiting. And I do have a very important message. This might be the most important one of all for today's message. And that is, I've heard a prophetic message from the Lord. I don't say that very easily and I don't, I don't undermine that word and the importance of what it is. Um, as Christians know, when you get a word from the Lord, you need to have three separate confirmations. Well, yesterday I got that from three separate people that know me but don't know each other. And that is this. By January 1st, the whole world will look differently across the board, meaning geopolitically, financially, spiritually, emotionally, and medically. So if you look at the information I've just provided to you today um, in front of scenes, optically, and you take what I just heard now, you can see the pattern. So that means that pretty much everything we're waiting on has to transact by this year, the remainder of it, and then will take effect January 1st. Iraq's already told you they're not letting dollars come in or out of country starting January 1st. And the BRICS, which is continuing to grow, which is now allowing Indonesia to get ready to come into that group already for the rupiah, 
is telling you the same thing. So you're seeing this huge conglomeration of de-dollarization. That's all we have for today. Thanks for listening. Appreciate your time. And I'll see you on the next one. God bless.